way in a different way. I just wondered if you could elaborate on that and, and kind of explain how you've been able to use that to do something different. Yeah, not, not necessarily in a different way. It's just that I think what I've been trying to explain is that just individuals change the way you play. So, I mean, I, I, yeah, I'm not onto this sort of commentary that we're you know, a better team without Harry or with, you know, because I think you were all there. The last game Harry played for us, he did all right in our system. You know, I think he scored four goals. So, you know, it's fair to say we would have been able to squeeze him in somewhere, you know. Uh, uh, being uh, sarcastic there, so, but but not him not being there just allows us because different individuals come into the team and they change the dynamic. So that's and I and again it's what I've tried to you know whilst the way you know I want my teams to play has a real sort of clear structure, what I try and do is create a, a sort of balanced squad where individuals can change the dynamics of it. So you know having Sunny as our nine is different from having obviously Harry or even Richie or anyone else we have as a nine, having, you know, Decky as a, as a winger and, and having, I don't know, Brendan Johnson as a winger changes it, even though the structure's the same. So I think what I was trying to say was that not having Harry there does change us as a team because different individuals, but if Harry was still here, the structure would be the same. We would still have the same sort of fundamentals of trying to be a team that dominates oppositions, presses the opposition, all those kind of things would still be there. But because of the individual qualities that the players bring, which is, you know, what I try and do because ultimately I don't want to suppress the qualities they have. I want to try and bring out the best of them within a, a sort of structure that we have. I suppose Madison has filled some of the creative void that, that Harry left. And he spoke really well on Monday, I thought, about the role you've given him in the team. And I remember when he was named in the World Cup squad, Gareth Southgate called him the student of the game. I just wondered if you could talk about his kind of football intelligence and, and sort of that side of... Yeah, no, he he, he definitely, um, you know, he is very intuitive around the game and understanding the game. And and I think for all of them, what we try and do is provide sort of some sort of framework of, you know, education where we can give them information to improve them, A, as individuals, but then some of them take that more in a broader sort of concept of, you know, the team aspect, and I think Matters is one of those. He, he looks at it from, a t just not from individual information, but as, you know, how does that help the team? I mean, you know, the goal he scored the other night came from not his individual ability, it came from just him working hard, you know. He just pressed two or three times. And um, to do, that's a conscious thing he has to do, you know. It's not something that is just about him being a good footballer, that's him as an individual saying, OK, well, I need to do this because I think the team will benefit and ultimately he benefited from it because he scored the goal. But if he didn't, somebody else would have, <coughs> like we did for, for Sonny's goal. So I think he, he kind of looks at it, you know, he's one of these players who looks at it from a broader perspective, not just how he can help him as an individual, but how it helps the team, um, you know, evolve into kind of being um, the team we want to be. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you.